is up everybody air just cause here once again with another video and today we are here i've been doing this tradition since 2022 where we review the nascar 2024 schedule um this one was po uh, posted on twitter or x or whatever you want to call it now i don't i don't give a fuck to be completely honest so um yeah, it's it's interesting. It's been buzzing all over X and Twitter and all day. So let's see. Let's go over it like we usually do. Let's start off with the clash. Still at the LA Coliseum. I'm fine with it at this point. I mean, the, the clash didn't disappoint. Actually, hold on. Let me change that statement. It did kind of disappoint last year with a bunch of the cautions. Um, so to be honest, I mean, I hope they change the clash a little bit, uh, next year. Cause that race took so long due to every caution coming out, like every three to four laps and it got completely out of hand. So the clash fine with it. Duels at Daytona fine with it. Daytona 500 yearly tradition, but this is the interesting thing. They to start out the season, they're going to start out with back-to-back -back plate races or super speedway races. So you go from Daytona to Atlanta, race two. What? Okay, okay, okay. What were we, what are we thinking here? Like, we're going to do two super speedway races back-to-back? -back? I, I would have put Atlanta after Coda or something. Like, I I don't know how I feel on. I mean, great. I mean, you start out with two unpredictable races off the bat, but I mean, back to back super speedways. Are we, are we actually serious here? Um, Las Vegas is the next one. Um, a very short West Coast swing this year. Um, due to Auto Club being reconfigured to that short track plan. So, Auto Club won't be on the schedule this year. It'll probably be on the 2025 schedule. Um, we're no longer going to Bristol Dirt. I'm actually kind of sad about that because the Bristol Dirt actually was starting to get good. And it, it, they had a really good race last year. They had a really good race the year before. And... It looks like they scrapped it, and I was hoping if they took Bristol Dirt off the schedule, they would actually go to an actual dirt track, and it looks like on the schedule, we don't go to a dirt track at all. So, yeah, Bristol, off the uh, Bristol Dirt off the schedule, we're going back to the concrete. It's probably going to be a daytime race, um, probably be like a 2.30, 3 o'clock start time. So, then Coda. Coda is going to return for schedule. Coda has been f good for for its first two years. We'll see what happens this year. Um, Richmond having a night race back on the schedule. I like it. I like I like the idea, but I have gone really sour on Richmond for the last like five years. So I don't know how I feel about Richmond right now. I, I'm very sour. Because the racing has been kind of meh for the last five years at Richmond. And it seems like, I don't know if the, the product's going to get better with no passing. Like, it's hard to pass and everything. So, I don't know. But, Richmond, Easter night, I, I like it. I like it. I thought Easter was in April, not March 31st. Like, what are we doing here? Hold on, hold on. Is this an actual schedule? <laughs> I might be I might be down the actual schedule now. Um, Martinsville April seventh, fine. Texas April fourteenth, fine. Texas Texas acts this year was actually kind of good. I was actually kind of liking Texas this year, um, but I, I don't know how I still feel about it. Talladega April twenty first, Dover April twenty eighth, Kansas. Then the throwback race at Darlington before we go to the All Star race at North Wilkesboro. Looks like we're going back to Wilkesboro. Let's hope the racing there is better than last year because this year was 
<laughs> nope. Did not like this year at all. This year's all-star race was nope. <laughs> not good. 600 on May 26. Gateway, June 2nd. Sonoma. I've been banging my fist on the table for this. I don't like Sonoma. Sonoma has been boring for since 2017. And I don't want Sonoma on the schedule. It might be the hottest take right now. But if there's any road course I want to take off the schedule right now, 100% Sonoma. I will 100% love for Sonoma to be taken off the schedule. Please, please, please. We had the short shoot, and then we had the carousel, and the racing, both of those races weren't good. Most of those races wanted me to go to fucking bed. Let's go ahead and just rip it off the schedule, okay? Sonoma has got to be one of the races that everyone complains about being the most boring every year. Let's take it off the schedule, please. Like, please. Just take it off. Okay? It might be a hot take. I'm, I'm calling it a hot take because I don't know how many people would agree with me. But take it off the schedule. Please. Please. Iowa, June 16th. I like it. Iowa, I never thought it should have left any of the lower series schedule because of how much... Uh, IndyCar's uh, event and with high V is put into the racetrack. So 100% Iowa, put it on the schedule. I like the move. New Hampshire, June 23rd. Nashville, June 30th. Chicago Street Course, back on the schedule. Was a good race this year. I hope they keep it up. Pocono, July 14th. I like, I like it. Indy, bringing back the Oval this year. Big move because the road course was kind of, you know, was not really clicking after that first year. The first year when we went to the Indy road course, I could compare it to being like the first year of the Charlotte Roval. Where the Roval, where the first year of the Charlotte Roval, you had the chaos that made the race interesting and everything. You had everything, you know, something go wrong that created a very interesting, great finish, you know. And then after that, I mean, the year previously was just nothing but a send show. And then this year, it was really boring. I mean, and and I think the Indy Road Course and Watkins Glen back-to-back is what really made NASCAR think to bring back stage yellows for the road courses. Because, I mean, it was not, not good, so... But Indy Oval's back. I like to see it. I meant the tire test went well. Richmond, August 11th. Michigan, August 18th. This is the one of the changes. I think this is more because of the Olympic breaks. Uh, because why the fuck does why the fuck do we care about the Olympics? Um, but Daytona, August 24th. Uh, and then Darlington will be the regular season finale. I feel like this is only a this year change because. Atlanta and Watkins Glen is usually in that Olympic break section of the schedule. So they moved it back, I guess, Darlington, the Southern 500, which I like Darlington in the playoffs, but I just don't know if I like a, a crown jewel event in the playoffs. That's kind of my thing. Like, you know, I, I don't know how much. I mean, I know some people like it because it's back on its, its original Labor Day weekend date. But, I mean, if we could find a way to, you know, keep it as the regular season cutoff or the first race of the playoffs, I'm fine with either one. But, hey, Darlington, September 1st. September 8th, Atlanta. When the playoff begins, I mean, this is the biggest, the first round is the biggest change. So the first round this year, if I can remember right, which I hope I remember right, Bristol was the cutoff, and then Kansas was the second race, and then the first race of the playoffs was, fuck, um, Darlington. So... So, Atlanta, so you got two super speedways, so you see Talladega's in there. You got two road courses because they kept the Charlotte Roval this year, which I 100% agree with. I had a debate with one of my friends, like, literally 
a couple days ago, like, I want the Charlotte Roval on the schedule. I like the Roval. Roval's one of my favorite road course races. Let's keep the Charlotte Roval. And they're like, no, the road course racing is terrible. So, you know, I want to I wanna take it off and put the Charlotte Oval. Well, looks like the Roval's staying. So, haha, fuck you. Um, for one. Two. Two road courses. I'm not sure about two road courses. I would have put Watkins Glen. Um, actually, I would move Watkins Glen. I would take Sonoma out and put Watkins Glen on Sonoma's date. So you would, so you would have, um, at least a mile and a half. You could have still had, um, Darlington in the playoffs. Um, but a, I mean, that's up, that's up in the air. Um, of course, that second round now being Kansas, Talladega, Charlotte, o- uh, Charlotte Roval, basically Texas pushed its date back to April, and then Kansas got its playoff spot. The final, the second round, or the se- I shouldn't say second round, the third round is basically the same championship race. I, I, I don't like Phoenix. I, I'm just going to put it out there now. I mean, all the other series, like if you go Xfinity and trucks at Phoenix, that's fine. At least Xfinity and trucks deliver good racing at Phoenix. I just don't know if I like it as the championship event for the top major series in NASCAR. Like, I want it back on Homestead. I want Homestead back. I want Homestead back as the championship, in my honest opinion. Um, or even Vegas. I would take Vegas, too. Vegas, Homestead. I don't know if I would take Kansas on there. As a championship, I mean, you probably want one of your championships to be in a high market if you're NASCAR. Um, So, I mean, I guess Phoenix is, but I mean, you could go back to Homestead. You could even put Vegas there. I mean, Vegas is a very good viable option for a championship race. Vegas racing has been good for the next gen car. So, I mean, hey, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. That's the schedule. I don't know how I want to feel about it. We got stuff we wanted, but then we got some weird stuff on the schedule. Like, starting out with two Super Speedway races. I guess, uh, I don't know what we did to get Christmas two times a year at the beginning of the season. But, I mean, I mean, I guess NASCAR wants chaos. (laughs) I I guess NASCAR wants chaos, but... Again, big biggest. Let's let's go with the biggest wins. Biggest wins on the schedule. Um, let's go over. Let's go over biggest wins. Will Sprouse on schedule. Iowa got got a day. Indy Oval came back. Um, and Texas is out of the playoffs. Four dubs. That's the four dubs. The biggest L's of the schedule, in my opinion. Two Richmond dates. I do not. I want one Richmond date. I've been saying this for the last year. I want only one Richmond date. You can put up another short track somewhere else in that fucking schedule for Richmond, okay? Um, two, um, Sonoma is still on the schedule. Uh, three, I do not know what sense we made here with putting the 500 and Atlanta back to back on the schedule. Um, four, the playoff, the playoff, I actually, I don't really have a problem with the playoffs, actually. I actually pretty, I, I actually don't have a problem with the playoffs, so. Um, and, and for, fuck Olympics. Fuck the Olympics, bro. Fuck NBC. Fuck the Olympics. Who gives a fuck? I don't. So, there you go. Schedule, breakdown, release, everything. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank y'all for watching.